。好，背诵第一课到二十五课的内容。Lesson one: A private conversation. Last week I went to the theater. I had very good seats. The play was very interesting. I did not enjoy it. A young man and a young woman were sitting behind me. They were talking loudly. I got very angry. I could not hear the actors. I turned around. I looked at the man and the woman angrily. They did not pay any attention. In the end, I could not bear it. I turned around again. I can't hear a word. I said angrily. It's none of your business. The young man said rudely. This is a private conversation. Let's take the vintage. Why did the writer complain to the people behind it? Lesson two: Breakfast or lunch? Why were the writers and surprised? It was Sunday. I never get up early on Sundays. I sometimes stay in bed until lunchtime. Last Sunday, I got up very late. I looked out of the window. It was dark outside. What a day! I thought. It's raining again. Just then, the telephone rang. It was my aunt Lucy. I'm just arriving by train, she said. I'm coming to see you. But I'm still having breakfast, I said. What are you doing? She asked. I'm having breakfast, I repeated. Dear me, she said. Do you always get up so late? It's one o'clock. Lesson three. Please send me a card. Please send me a card. How many cards did the writer send? Postcards always spoil my holidays. Last summer, I went to Italy. I visited museums and studied public gardens. A friendly winter taught me a few words of Italy. Then he lent me a book. I read a few a few lines, but I did not understand a word. Every day I thought about postcards. My card day passed quickly, but I did not send cards to my friend. On the last day, I made a big decision. I got up early and bought thirty 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 seven cards. I spent the whole day in my room, but I did not write a single card. On lesson four, an exciting treat. Why is Tim finding this treat exciting? I have just received a letter from my brother Tim. He is in Australia. He has been there for six months. Tim is an engineer. He is working for a big firm.、Um, big firm, and he has visited has already visited a great number of different places in Australia. He has just bought an Australian car and has gone to Alice Springs, a small town in the center of Australia. He will soon fly. He will soon visit Darwin. From there, he will fly to Perth. My brother has never been to Perth before, so he's finding this trip very exciting. Lesson five: No wrong numbers. What does no wrong numbers mean? Mr. James Card has crashed in Sydney. And, and now he has just bought another garage in Pinhurst. <coughs> Pinhurst is only five miles from Sydney, but Mr. Scott cannot get a telephone for his new garage, so he has just bought twelve pigeons. Yesterday, a pigeon carried the first message from Pinhurst to Sydney. The bird covered the distance in three minutes. Up to now, Mr. Scott has sent a great many requests for spare parts and other urgent messages from one garage to the other. In this way, in this way, he has he has begun his own private telephone service.、Um, lesson six: Percy Buttons. Who is Percy Buttons? I've just I've just moved to a house in Bridge Street. Yesterday, a banker knocked at my door. He asked me for for meal and a glass of beer. In return for this, he, the banker threw down his hat and sang songs. I gave him a meal. He ate food and drank beer. Then he put a piece of cheese in his pocket and went away. Later, a neighbor told me about him. Everybody knows him. His name is Percy Buttons. He calls at every house in the street once a month and always asks for a meal and a glass of beer. On lesson seven, too late. Did the detective save the diamonds? The play was late, and detectives were waiting at the airport all morning. They were expecting for a valuable parcel of diamonds from South Africa. A few hours earlier, someone had told the police that thieves would try to steal the diamonds. When the plane arrived, some of the detectives were waiting 
inside the main building while others were waiting on the airfield. Two men took the puzzle off the plane and carried it into the customer's house while two detectives, two detectives were keeping guard at the door. Two others opened the puzzle. To their surprise, the precious puzzle was full of stones and said, Lesson A, the best and the worst. Why is John's garden the most beautiful one in the town? John Sanders had the most beautiful garden in our town. Nearly everybody entered for the nicest garden competition each year, but John wins every time. Bill Friend Garden is larger than John's. Bill works harder than John and grows more flowers and vegetables. Joe's garden is, is more interesting. He has made neat path and has already has, has built a wooden bridge over a pool. I like gardens too, but I do not like hard work. Every year I enter for the garden competition too, and I always win a little prize for the worst garden in the town. That's not cold worker. What, do, what does cold worker refer to? On Wednesday evening, we went to the town hall. It was the last day of the year, and a large crowd of people had gathered on the town hall clock. It would strike 12 p. 12 in 20 minutes' time. 15 minutes passed, and then, at 5 to 12, the clock had stopped. The clock stopped. The big minute hand did not move. We waited and waited, but nothing happened. Suddenly, someone shouted, It's 2 minutes past 12. The clock had stopped. I looked at my watch. It was true. The biggest clock refused to work on the work on the, work on the new year. At that moment, everybody began to laugh and sing. Lesson ten, not for jazz. What what happened to the clamcord? We have no musical instrument. It is called a clamcord. It was made in Germany in 1681. The clam our clamcord is kept in the living room. It has belonged to our family for, for a long time. The instrument was bought by my grandfather many years ago. Recently, it was damaged by a visitor. She tried to play jazz on it. She struck the keys too hard and two of the strings were broken. My father was shocked. Now we are not allowed to touch it. It is being repaired by a friend of my father. Of lesson 11, one good turn deserves another. Who paid for, who paid for Tony's dinner? I was ha I was having dinner at a restaurant when Tony Steele came in. Tony worked in a lawyer's office years ago, but he's now working at bank. He gets good salary, but he always borrow borrows money from his friends and never pays it back. Tony saw me and came and sat at the same table. He has never borrowed money from me. While he was eating, I asked him to lend me 20 pounds. To my surprise, he gave me the money immediately. I have never borrowed any money, money from you, Tony said. So now you can pay for my dinner. Well, listen to all. Goodbye and good luck. Hmm. Where is Captain Allison going and how? Our neighbor, Captain Charles Allison, will sail from Baltimore tomorrow. We will meet him at the harbor early in the morning. It will be a small boat, Top Sail. Top Sail is a famous little boat. It has sailed across the Atlantic many times. Captain Allison will set out at 8 o'clock, so we'll, we will have plenty of time. We will see his boat and then we will say goodbye to him. He will, he will be away for two months. We are very proud of him. He will, he will have to, he will, have, he will have to take part in Take part in important race across the Atlantic. Lesson 13 The Greenwood Boys. The Greenwood Boys. Why will the police have difficult time? Mm. The Greenwood Boys are a group of pop singers. At present, they 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 are visiting they are visiting all parts of the country. They will be arriving here tomorrow. They will be coming, come. They will come. They will be coming by tree, and most of the young people in the town will be will be meeting them at a station.
Tomorrow evening, they will be seen at the Walker's Club. The Greenwood Boys will be staying for five days. During this time, they will give five performances. At the Euro, the police will have a difficult time. They will be trying to keep order. It is always the same and on these occasions. Lesson 14. Do you speak English? Do the young men speak English? I have a new amusing experience last year. I had left a small village in the south of France. Um, I drove on to the next town. On the way, a young man waved to me. I stopped and he asked me for a lift. For a lift. As soon as he got into the car, I said good morning to him in French and he replied in the same language. Apart from a few words, I didn't know any French at all. Neither of us spoke during the journey. I had nearly reached the town when the young man suddenly said, very slowly, Do you speak English? As I soon learned, he was English himself. A lesson 15. Good news. What was good news? The secretary told me that Mr. Hopsworth would see me. I felt very nervous when I went into his office. He did not look up from his desk when I entered. When I entered, as I had sat down, after I had sat down, he said that business was very bad. He told me that the firm could not afford to pay such large salaries. Twenty people had already left. I knew that my turn had come. Mr. Hopsworth, I said in a, vo in a weak voice, don't interrupt, he said. Then he smiled and told me I would receive an extra thousand pounds a year. Uh, lesson 16. A polite request. What was a polite request? If you park your car in the wrong place, a traffic policeman will soon find it. You will be very lucky if he lets you go without a ticket. However, this does not always happen. Traffic, traffic police are sometimes very polite during a holiday. In Swindon, I found this note on my car. Sir, we welcome you to our city. This is no parking area. You will enjoy your stay here if you pay attention to our street signs. This note is only a reminder. If you receive a request like this, you cannot fail to obey it. Lesson 17. Always young. Why doesn't Aunt Jennifer tell anyone how old she is? My Aunt Jennifer is an actress. She must be at least 35 years old. In spite of this, she appears on the stage as a young girl. Jennifer will have to take part in a new play soon. This time, she will be a girl of 17. In the play, she must appear in a bright red dress and long black stockings. stockings. Last year, in another play, she had to wear short socks and a bright orange colored dress. If anyone ever asks her how old she is, she always answers, darling. It must be terrible to be grown up. Grown up. Oh. Lesson 18. He often thought this. What had happened to the writer's bag? After I had had lunch at Village Pub, I looked, I looked for my bag. I had left it on the chair beside the door, and now it wasn't there. As I was looking for it, the landlord came in. Did you have a good meal? He asked. Uh, yes, thank you, I answered, but I can't pay the bill. I haven't got my bag. The landlord smelled and immediately went out. In a few minutes, he returned with my bag and gave it back to me. I'm very sorry, he said. My dog had taken it into the garden. He often does this. Lesson, nine, lesson 19. Sold out. When will the writer see the play? The play may begin at any moment, I said. It may have begun already. Soon, soon, soon answered. I hurried to the ticket office. May I have two tickets, please? I asked. I'm sorry. We've sold out. We've sold out, the girl said. What a pity, Susan exclaimed. Just then, a man hurried to the ticket office. Can I return these two tickets, please? Uh, can I return these two tickets? He asked. 
Certainly. Certainly, the girl said. I went back to the ticket office at once. Could I have those two tickets, please? I asked. Certainly, the girl said. But they are for next Wednesday's performance. Do you still want them?、Uh, I might as well have them. I said, sadly. Not less than twenty. One man in the boat. Why is fishing the writer's favorite sport? Fishing is my favorite sport. I often fish for hours without catching anything, but this does not worry me. Some fishermen are unlucky. Instead of catching fish, they catch old boats and rubbish. I'm even less lucky. I never catch anything, not even old boats. After after having spent whole mornings on the river, I always go home. Mm, I always go home with an empty bag. You must, you must give up fishing, my friends say. It's a waste of time, but they don't realize one important thing. I'm not really interested in fishing. I, I'm really, I'm only interested in sitting in the boat and doing nothing at all. Lesson twenty-one, mad or not. Why do people think the writer is mad? Airplanes are slowly driving me mad. Driving me mad. I live near an airport, and passing planes can be heard night and day. The airport was built years ago, but for some reason, it could not be used then. Be used then. Yet last year, however, it came into use. Over a hundred people must be. Must have been driven away from their homes by the noise. I'm, I'm the few, I'm the few people left. Sometimes I think this house will be knocked down by a passing plane. I have been offered a large sum of money to go away, but I'm determined to stay here. Everybody says I must be mad, and they're probably right. Lesson twenty. Lesson twenty-two. A glass envelope. How did Jane receive a letter from a stranger? My daughter Jane never dreamed of receiving a letter from a girl of her own age in Holland. Last year we were traveling across the channel, and Jane put a piece of paper with her name and address on it into a bottle. She threw the bottle into the sea. She never thought of it. Thought of it again, but ten months later, she received a letter from a girl in Holland. Both girls write to each other regularly now. However, they have decided to use post office. Letters will cost a little more, but they will certainly travel faster. Lesson twenty twenty three, the new house. Why is the new house special? I had a letter from my sister yesterday. She lives in Nigeria. In her letter, she said she will, that she will, she would, she will come to England next year. If she can't, she will, she will get a surprise. We are now living in a beautiful new house in the country. Work on it had begun, had begun before my sister left. The house was completed. Five months ago, in my letter, I told her that she could stay with us. The house has、mm, has many large rooms, and there is a lovely garden. It is it is a very modern house, so it looks strange to some people. It must be the only modern room in this district. Less than twenty four. It could be worse. And the writer's money been stolen. I entered the hotel manager's office and sat down. I had just lost fifty pounds, and I felt very upset. I left the money in my room. I said, but it's not there now.、Uh, the manager was sympathetic, but he could do nothing. Everyone's losing money these days, he said. He. Start to complain, complain about 
this wicked work, but I was interrupted by a knock at the door. The girl came in and put an envelope on his desk. It contained fifty pounds. I found this on the、uh, this gentleman outside. I found this outside this gentleman's room. She said, "Well," I said to the manager, "there is still some honesty in this world." Did the English speak English? Why? Why does the writer? Why does the writer not understand the porter? I arrived in London at last. The railway station is was big, black and dark. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know the way to my hotel, so I asked the porter. I not only spoke English very carefully, but very clearly as as well. The porter, however, could not understand me. I repeated my questions several times, and at last, he understood. He answered me, but he spoke neither slowly nor clearly. I am a foreigner," I said. Then he spoke slowly, but I could not understand it. My teacher never spoke English like like that. The porter and I looked at each other and smiled. Then he he spoke something, and I stood it. "You will soon learn English," he said. I wonder. In England, each person speaks. Uh, a different language. The English, the English understand each other, but I don't understand them. Did they speak? Did they speak English? Oh, 好了，第一课到二十五课的课文内容背诵就到这里吧。好，我们下次见，拜拜。